There's trail access right there. And I don't know where that goes, but we'll go down here and turn left and find There we are, Cutler City Wetlands Open Space. Right here. And there's the bridge. There's the uh, trail map. Tells you where to go. And we're on South West 63rd. Here's a map of the uh, of the uh, trail. It's uh, quite a quite a number of them in here. We're going to go down this way. Going to go down to the pond. Uh, we're going to go down to the pond. Hopefully, we're going to the pond. If we get on the right trail, I'm not going to wander around here too much. I don't know if this is the pond uh, trail or not. Let's see. Let's go out here and have a look. I don't think so. No? But here we go. The information board for saltwater marshes. Room and board for the masses. Uh, Pretty interesting. Swamps right there. I'm going to stay. Well, we're going to go on down here, see if we can find the uh, trail to the pond. We take the west, southwest corner of the trail system, and that last trail should take us to the pond. So we'll see what happens when we get down here. I imagine you have uh, oh, uh, quite a bit of wildlife in here, deer, raccoons, possums, uh, assortment of birds. Uh, look at this, surrounded by this lovely, lovely forest. Just what a wonder to behold. Great place for families to bring their kids, to uh, introduce them to the wonders of nature. And, uh, of course, for me, the excitement is the pond. I just can't help but wonder if there's fish in it. I can't imagine a, uh, a pond on the Oregon coast that somebody hasn't put fish in, especially the uh, pioneers that first settled here. Well, here's a, uh, another informational board. The evergreen forest structure for the good life. Okay, pretty interesting. We continue on down the trail in search of the pond. Well, here we are at another fork in the trail, and we'll continue on down this way in our quest for the elusive pond. Well, his tree fell across. A number of years ago, looks as though it's been there for a long, long time. I bet you, you get out here into this underbrush, and you'd find some good mushrooming. Anyway, it's just one of those things that old guys like to do. Though I don't eat them myself, but I've given plenty to my friends and to my family. I'm allergic to chanterelles. I get violently ill when I eat them. And I used to eat them by the ton, so I must have picked the wrong shroom and uh, paid the price. Well, here we go. This, this, well, I guess this is not part of the trail. Maybe it is. Let's go down here and see what we have. I'm not going to be wading through water. I don't think that's water, but here's one of the other trails around the lake. Pretty well organized. Walk in here a few feet and see what we have. Oh yeah. And then on the south shore of the pond, there's another uh, trail. Trails all the way around this uh, 
pond area, Spring Lake. Uh, let's say Lincoln City excels at uh, preserving their outdoor spaces for for their citizens of the county. Boy, I bet you this is fun in winter. It's nice that the uh, no, this is the pond. My goodness. Or it's a pond. Not much water in it. Looks like there's a house over there. Pretty much dried up. There's a Another storyboard about the the uh, resources that uh, mallard ducks, uh, spring growth, skunk cabbage, water spiders. So there we go.